Things in space look a whole lot cooler than here on Earth. Welcome back guys, today's video is on the top 5 amazing space experiments. How do you wash your hands with soap and water in space? Number 5. Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield experiments with a new pack of hand washing solution and demonstrates how to properly wash your hands in space. It is no rinse body bath. No rinse body bath. And it's a bag with a straw. So now let's demonstrate. Okay, it's time to get clean. I'm going to squirt some water out. So we have a big ball of water and you put it on your hand. And now I've got water floating around on my hand. And so I wash my hands up with that. And then grab a towel. And dry them off. So that's how we do it. We use no rinse. It's a special type of slightly soapy water, so you don't need to have a, a bunch of fresh water afterwards. You squirt it, you float a ball of water in front of yourself, and then you just dry your towel. And when you're done, we just tuck our towel somewhere to let it air dry so that the evaporated water gets back into the space station and we can use that water again. So it works pretty well. Sort of like, um, maybe sort of like if you were on a sailboat and you needed it to get clean, you do it sort of the same way. Number four, an astronaut experiments with water physics in a weightless environment. It's really trippy to see how the water reacts. Wow. Cool. Wow, I just love those oscillations. Here we go. Okay. Let me switch you to a black background. Yeah, so that's about 800 mils. So this should put it around 1,100 milliliters. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I just love that. Look at that. Amazing. Just one of these jaw-dropping moments. Okay, here we go to do it again, looking into the camera. Big buff, here we go. Oh, right at the lead. I saved the lead. What I'm planning to do is, after this whole series of experiments, I'll suck all this water up with a syringe, I'll put it back in bags, and I'll use it to make tea with, so I'll end up drinking my experiment. You gotta conserve your resources when you're in the frontier. You don't get to see this as common, intuitive, observables on Earth. And so when we go into a frontier, our normal earth honed intuition no longer applies. And this, this rule works when I can. And instead of putting a puff of air on it, I'm going to put a puff of water. This is going to have a lot more momentum in it than the air. Whoa, whoa, I was afraid. Oh, look at that, cool. I squirted water through, oh, isn't that cool? The water in the sphere went around the air cavity and formed a huge bubble, wow. Oh, that is so cool. Number three, European astronaut Tim Peake tests how the body responds to being dizzy in space. And does it make me feel unwell? So I'm going to get Tim to spin me around uh, doing something that would probably make me feel quite sick down on Earth. So let's see how that goes. This could be the worst, worst idea I've ever had. <laughs> oh, can do better than that. <laughs> OK, so yeah, I'll just go into a ball and start spinning. And then if, uh, if you want to just keep me go round. And, uh, yeah, 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 on axis, that's cool. Actually, it's, it's more provocative when you go off axis. Yeah, but you even control it. Yeah, no, don't worry. Provocative's fine. <laughs> Just keep it going. Go faster. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go for it. That's good. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll see if I can. I'm feeling dizzy. I'll see how quickly it stops. So it definitely felt dizzy initially. And now it's gone. No, it's yeah. quick. Yeah, completely normal. Amazing. Yeah, and again, I wouldn't be able to kind of just get off a fairground ride spinning that quickly for so long. I feel normal. Yeah. Crazy. It is amazing. Number two, students from Nova Scotia ask Chris Hatfield to wring out water from a cloth. The results are unexpectedly quite interesting. We may have the coolest washcloths ever here on the space station. I'm going to show you. Here's one of our washcloths. And it's packed in. It's put down into this little tiny hockey puck so that uh, it saves space. But when you open up a hockey puck, so when you open up your hockey puck and turn it into a washcloth, it was compressed in a great big vise somewhere. Okay, so here's my washcloth, like a magic trick. And now I'm gonna get this soaking wet, and then we're gonna see what'll happen when we wring it out. Meredith and Kendra suggested that I dip this in a bag, but bags don't hold water in space, so instead I filled a water bag. This has drinking water in it and I'm going to uh, squirt a bunch of water into this washcloth. Okay, so here's a soaking wet washcloth. Get the microphone so you can hear me while I'm talking. And now let's let's start wringing it out. It's really wet. out of the cloth into my hands. And if I let go of the cloth carefully, the water sort of has it stick to my hand. Okay, so the experiment worked beautifully. And the answer to the question is, the water squeezes out of the cloth, and then because of the surface tension of the water, it, um, it actually runs along the surface of the cloth, and then up into my hand, almost like you had jello on your hands or gel on your hand and it'll just stay there wonderful moisturizer in my hands and the cloth doesn't really unravel itself it just stays there floating like a uh, like a dog's chew toy soaking wet great experiment worked perfectly meredith and kendra congratulations great idea so this has to be number one u.s astronaut scott kelly tests how various dyes interact with a floating ball of water. It's almost like he's creating a miniature planet.
Be sure to subscribe for more top 5 videos. And if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my previous upload on the top 5 amazing spacewalks.